Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll be sharing with you my market update for the week uh, of November 20th to November 24th, 2023. So in this video, I'll run through some of the market indexes such as the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, the Nasdaq and the IWM, followed by some of the stocks on my watch list that I'm currently taking a look at. Alright, so let's begin with the S&P 500. So if you have been following the markets in the past few days and weeks, you know, you know that the S&P 500 has actually made quite a significant rise in the falling uh, for the previous few sessions, right? So if you take a look at the two over here, this was the bottom. And then since the bottom, the S&P 500 has moved up by, by about 9.73%. So that's quite a significant move for the index. Right, so the, the bottom or the at least the short term or intermediate term bottom was over here. And then this bottom over here actually correspond to a undercut of the previous low, right? So the previous low was here, then there was a nice undercut and then prices would just went almost like parabolic up, right? So what's so significant about this change in trend, at least for the intermediate term, because like we, um, we can't say for sure that the uh, trend has changed, but based on my own personal observation, I, I believe that um, the trend has actually changed. So I will give a couple of reasons why. So the first reason is over here, right? So if you take a look at um, in, in this run up over here, the S&P 500 has actually gap up multiple times. So we had the first gap up from this candlestick to here. Then this was the second one. This was the third one. And then another one over here, right? So in total, we have four gaps up on the move up, right? So what's so significant about this gap ups is one, firstly, gap, gap ups are usually very bullish action, right? Because it shows that prices have actually jump from the close here to the next open then there's a gap which means that there's significant buying de demand right but perhaps more importantly is the change in character for the s p 500 in the past couple of weeks and months so what do i mean by that right so as mentioned just now there was multiple gaps up over here in this um, move up but if you take a look at um the past few um months right so from here starting from here so the first um the first change in trend from the uptrend over here in the earlier part of the year was over at over at this area over here. So the the, the change in character over here was when prices get down, right? So when prices get down, it shows a change in character. So from the, the gap up over here, so we have one gap up in this um, uptrend and a gap up and a gap up. And then from gapping up, prices actually change to gapping down. So there's a change in character. So this first gap down is actually a warning for us as traders in the markets that okay you know this might be a possible change in trend because there's a change in character of the index right so if you can see um over here we also had another gap down and another gap down over here so recently we had multiple gap up so what does this mean this means that there's actually a change in character from uh, prices gapping down now prices are gapping up Right, so that's one of the things to um, pay attention to for this um, move up. And another reason why I believe that the trend is ac um, actually here to stay for at least for the short to intermediate term is because you can see over here prices are actually making lower highs, right? So you have this high, then making an, an, another lower high, another lower high, another lower high, right? And you're also making lower lows. So we have this low, another low here, and then another low here, right? So you can see that prices are actually making lower highs and lower lows right but recently prices are actually making higher highs and higher lows right so from over here this is one low this is another low right so you can see prices are actually making higher lows right then from um over here to over here prices are actually making higher highs right so if prices can continue to at least consolidate and digest this move we can see prices making higher highs and higher lows which shows that there's a change in a downtrend to an uptrend Right, so that's for the S&P 500. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones. Right, so for the Dow Jones, it's also a simi similar story. We see that actually prices have kept up multiple times in this move up, right? And then um, it's also trading above its key moving average. So we have the 10 day moving average, 20 day moving average. Then um, we have the 50 day in the red line and then the 200 day moving average, which is the black line. So that's for the Dow Jones. And then now is the Nasdaq, right? So um, as mentioned uh, before, there's also for the Nasdaq, there's also uh, multiple gap gap ups, right? So we see one over here, another over here, and another over here. And then another thing that I forgot to mention for the S&P 500 just now is that on top of the two factors that I told you about, so the change in character for um, the index, and then also uh, making higher lows and higher highs now, 
prices actually broke above this downtrend line. So when you have a confluence of um, all these factors, it makes it highly probable that the short to intermediate term is up uh, at least in the coming days and weeks, right? So um, that's for the NASDAQ. Now let's take a look at the IWM, right? So the IWM is for um, the, the more small and mid cap weighted stocks. So um, oh, similar story, uh, it has multiple gap ups over here, over here, then broke above the down, downtrend line and then prices are making high lows and high highs. So right now, um, the, the key resistance for the IWM is the um, 200 day moving average over here. So you can see there's a clear rejection at this price level, right? So um, if we want this um, uptrend to be sustainable, we do not just want like the S&P 500, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ to be um, just moving up. We also want to see the IWM participating in this move up, right? So it means that the breadth of the rally is um, wider. So it's um, that it will signify, it will signify that uh, the the uptrend will be more sustainable, right? So that's for the IWM. So right now I'll be sharing with you guys um some of my watch list stocks for this week, right? So it's the for the twentieth to the twenty fourth of November. Right, so um, the first stock that I'm taking a look at is LIFW. Right, so um, I have set my alert over here. So I'm created this um, alert, which it forms a downtrend line. Then um, the reason why I'm taking a look at this stock is because this stock is actually quite powerful, right? So if you see from the bottom over here, prices have actually moved up by about 793%, right? In just a short period of time, about a couple of trading sessions, um, less than a month, right? And then it, it does so on strong volume. And then right now it's actually digesting and uh, consolidating its previous gains quite well, right? So you can see that it's consolidating over here and then prices have significantly declined. And then it's also finding support at the 10 day moving average. So if prices can hold above the 10 day moving average and break above this line, then uh, I might look to add a position in um, this stock. Right, then the next one is KRR. O, right so similar story um the stock has also make up a strong move over here so this one is up 423 percent and similarly it's up on strong volume right and then as you can see when uh, as it consolidate and digest its pull uh its gains it pulls back quite nicely to the 10 day moving average and then volume has also declined so if prices can hold above its 10 day moving average and then break above this level that's also something i'm um taking a look at Okay, so the next one is SN or Shark Ninja. So um, Shark Ninja is actually a, a home appliance, right? They they do sell um home appliances, right? Then uh, actually I own um one of such appliances, right? So it's it's interesting to see that actually you know like the stock that you um buy and sell or trade has actually real life products that you um that we use in our daily life, right? So for Shark Ninja, it actually just IPO not too long ago, and then right now it's forming a base. So um, I'm paying, paying attention to this line. So you can see that this line is a key resistance level for prices. So it's uh, at around of a uh, level of $45. Then so far prices have um, managed to hold its move up quite well. And then it's finding support at the um, 50 day moving average. So if prices can break above this level, then it's something I'm paying attention to. The next one is um, CREV. So similarly, this one price also make a, uh, make a strong move up, right? So from the low over here to the high, it made a 2,838% move. So that's a very strong move. Um, I, and I actually um, tried to buy this stock on this day over here. So on the 15th November, right? But I got stopped out the next day. So now I'm still paying attention to the stock. So as long as the stock can hold above the green line, which is the 21 day moving average. And then if it breaks above this line, then I, I might look to add a position in CREV. So uh, another important lesson over here is that um, even though we might get stopped out of a stock, it's always good to um, keep them in our watch list as long as they um, continue to uh, act uh, positively, right? So this stock, even though I, I got stop out, it's not doing much um, things negatively. It's still holding above its 21 day moving average. So um, if it can continue uh, set up positively and constructively, then I, I will look to add my position back into um, CREV. Uh, this is AIRE. So similarly, I also took a position on this stock um, on this day over here, right? So you can see that it broke above this level. Then, um, but I actually got stopped out on the next day, which is over here. 
So similarly, the stock has done nothing um, wrong yet, right? So if it can continue to move sideways, and then I uh, just let the volume just die down, I might look to add my position when prices break above this line. Okay, then the next one is ATGL. So uh, this is also a newly IPO stock. So prices have actually went up quite significantly since it's IPO, right? So we, from here to here, it actually increased by 648%. So right now it's, um, hopefully it can move sideways for quite uh, for a couple of days or a week. Then um, if prices break above this line, then I'll, I'll be interested in buying my, uh, adding my position in this stock. Okay, so the next one is JELD. So um, prices have risen quite significantly from the bottom over here. So it has moved up by about 43%. And then we see there are multiple gap ups, right? So one, two, three, and four. So if prices can tighten up and then hope, ideally let the 10 day moving average catch up over here. And then it holds above the 10 day moving average and then it breaks out. I might look to add my position in this stock. Uh, so for this one, the next one is ISPR. So it also made a strong move. Then right now it's uh, declining. And so far it has managed to find support at a 10 day moving average. So ideally I want un the stock to move sideways over here for a couple of trading sessions. Let, um, and then let the, uh, the 10 day moving average catch up even more. And then if it breaks out over here, then I will look to add my position in the stock. Okay, then the next one, um, four. So it also make a strong move off from the bottom and it broke above the 200 day moving average. So ideally I want to see it uh, tighten up for a couple of more days and then if it breaks out, I might look to add my position. Okay, so this is for uh, three. So str same thing, strong move from the bottom and break above the key moving average. But as you can see right now, there's actually this area of resistance. So prices are in encountering quite a bit of supply over here right so as from this long uh, upper wing and then this one over here so uh, ideally you want to let the the 10 uh, the 20 the 21 day moving average catch up even more and then it tightens up then it breaks out i might look to add my position okay so um that guys that's um that's a wrap up for my weekly market updates for the week of um november 20th to november 24th 2023 hopefully you have enjoyed and learned something from this video if you did um smash that like button because it really helped the channel grow and allow me to produce more content such as this so i'll see you in the next video to your financial success